Patterson forward again. Backhanded around. Oh, straight back out and straight into the goal. It's lovely play between Nelson and Valdix who finds the finish. Yeah, fantastic finish there by Andres Valdix. You watch the patience that he has and a great job on the boards here, picking the puck up off the boards here by Nelson. Doesn't waste any time, allow uh, the, the Dundee defenders to get back into play here and netminder down a little bit early for my liking again. Steelers in front early. Oh, turnover, DeVoe, he's trying to go around and it's tapped in by Antin. And the Steelers have got two in quick succession. Yeah, I think the, I think uh, DeVoe just actually banked that off the netminder. We'll have to see on the uh, on the replay here. As he rounds the netminder here, you can see him going around the outside. Definite uh, leaves it late, late, late. And right there, it does just seem to go off the bottom of the netminder. And they make something from this. Circling around behind the net, looking for that passing option. Still with Dickin. Oh, he scored! He's found the top corner. Nice play by the uh, by the Dundee player there. You watch him go around the outside. And lots of movement created in there, and Sheffield just just allowing a little bit too much space there. And a good screen in front of the net as well. You see the the, the forward or the defenseman down. He just just turns and shoots it. And a little pocket of space to Gabriel Leves, and he couldn't take advantage. Mustakov shut the door on him. Now here comes Kirk, trying to hold off Inglis. Goes back into the corner. Dowd is there. Chamberlain with him. Dowd emerges with it. Plays a pass across. O'Connor, lovely finish. Yeah, fantastic little finish. A great little pass here by Robbie Dowd. He actually puts it uh, one of those sort of dangerous sort of passes where you pass it through two guys through through the box. And you can see it just bounces there. But look at the look at the pinpoint of this of the shot there. Nice little wrist shot. That's a perfect shot. Netminder does get a tiny little touch to it, but not enough to push it up over the bar. Opportunity here off the block shot and it's Valdix. He's already got one, save made and the follow-up's put in. And the Steelers find their fourth early in the second period. Yeah, this is what they didn't want. They wanted obviously more power play possession, but you see Valdix there gets a good shot going for the blocker side. A little unfortunate that Fullerton doesn't control his rebound and, and Levi Nelson there just driving hard, puts it in. Devoe. Right into the backside of O'Connor. Oh, it comes nicely out for Yantin! Uh, just unfortunate there by, uh, by Anderson and Fullerton. You can see just not happy. It's just a just an unfortunate play there. It just happens to fall on the end of a of a player who can actually shoot the puck pretty good. And from there he's not gonna miss an awful lot. Doesn't quite see it as well. Moved across, Levesque wasn't there for the one-timer. Gould winds and fires straight into the block of Phillips. Oh, and now the Steelers have got a two on O. It's Phillips with Ramsey. Back to Phillips, beautiful. So well worked. It's not officially been given yet. We might have to check when the net came off. Well, it's and indeed we will. We wow. have an official review. See, to me, if unless that puck goes through the side of the net here, this should be a good goal. It's, it goes underneath them. It goes five hole. It should. His heart. Winds and fires. Good block by Shudra. Comes back to heart. That one stung Shudra, and that one's found the net from Gould. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate there. You get a good block shot and then uh, just bounces back and just a little bit sloppy with the uh, the guys coming back and not paying attention a little bit too much there. You can see them over back check and not allowing, uh, not allowing. So the penalty clock on the scoreboard isn't in sync with the game clock at the moment. We think, well, it certainly says there's 1.45 to go on the power play. We think there's a little bit less than that. Here's Dowd. Oh, never worry about the time. Yeah, they're not going to need it, are they? <laughs> nice little pass. Great little pass there by Valdix and Robbie Dowd sitting in the spot that he loves to take one-timers from. And you can just see him sneaking in here behind. Is it Mirmar there? Doesn't quite see what's going on. And Valdix just sees Robbie Dowd pop out. And Netminder's never going to get that in a million years. He's just too... The Steelers will skate it away down the right wing side. Markart gets past Dickin. Puts the brakes on. Invites in Arson, winds and fires! And it's 8-2 once again for the Steelers against the Stars at Ice Sheffield. Yeah, nice little shot there. Nice finish by Arson, yo. Nice little finish. And Mikhail Lidhammer exchanged the puck before Ferguson's advancement effort bounces off a skate right to Kelly Eckert, who wired the opener past Capitals netminder Pavel Shigalo just 36 seconds into the contest. The home team just missed doubling the lead when Eckert makes his own open ice and delivers to Ferguson, but Shigalo gets a pad down to make the stop.
One of Chris Carazzi's finest saves during the evening's shutout run comes on this Capitals blast that the Canadian netminder kicks aside. Less than a minute from the close of the period, the Flames finally added another here when a point shot rebound was corralled by Cruz Reddick, whose clever three-foot pass set up an easy tap in by Ian Waters for a 2-0 lead. 19 seconds later, Lidhammer can't quite get to an open ice Rhett Rachinsky feed, but Shigalo, trying to get there first, overruns the puck and Lidhammer doesn't miss the resulting empty cage to help the Flames to a three-goal margin at the break. Liam Stewart collects a 130-foot pass at the offensive blue line, then delivers to Ben Davies, who just misses finding the handle on a grade-A scoring opportunity. A quick Capitals transition turns into a short-lived three-on-two, where an outstanding back-checking effort by Stewart breaks up the play. Rachinsky and Ferguson play an effective game of give-and-go with four passes between them, the last of which puts Ferguson in alone to slip the backhand behind Chicago to extend the lead at 33-15. In the final minute of the second, Ferguson adds another when he eludes a defender, then finds an open lane and wires home the 5-0 marker. John Dunbar starts and finishes the play at 47.02 when he sets up a point shot that ends up back on his tape in prime shooting real estate from where he fires a laser under the bar to widen the gap further. A long delivery on a zone exit turns into a Flames three-on-one, where a broken play on Stewart's pass attempt turns into a good fortune bounce right back to Davies, who tucks it away on the backhand for the final goal of a 7-0 win. Offside ahead, it's gone, there's a chance for Frain, he's in all alone, breaking down the right side, backhand effort, and it lifts over the top pad of Jackson Whistle, but a mistake on the blue line, and a pooch of card if Devils one up. It was a nice finish, no question, a bit, a bit lucky on the uh, on the long pass from Strachan, it looked like it was going to be picked off by Benedict, slid under a stick, allows the Devils to walk in for a breakaway, uh, you see a bit of a pump fake, drop the shoulder, moves to the backhand, finishes up high, nice goal by Farina. For a three on two, Fournier out to the right hand side, gets it back in. Oh, great short handed goal, all created by Fournier. But a lovely little give and go with Matt Myers, and it puts the Cardiff Devils two up. Yeah, with Fournier, we've been talking about his speed and his skating ability since warm ups. Uh, we saw a pretty impressive display there. He picks up the puck in his own end, he picks off. Mark goes D to D for Martinelli. Martinelli's got a helper in front, finds, covers that one well, and there's a chance here now to clear it. And just been cleared as a foot race here, Martin. Joey Martin heading towards, and he's got the empty net goal. The Cardiff Devils fans down the right hand side celebrate. A little difficult bounce off the wall there, and unfortunately, Ryan Martinelli couldn't gather it and uh, keep it in the zone. 3 0, Cardiff Devils. Position the, uh, the captain, of course, for Lightning. And King once again with possession. Dowson gets a short backhand. That beats Nastriot. But Kevin King did the hard work. Passes straight in for Ludwig Carlson. It's the backhand. The beast Nastriot. Lightning go one up. I never think if the officials maybe least them rigidly in the first place we wouldn't have had the problem but there you go who am I to say now that's a goal <laughs> I have no idea that looks like Keeney who scored that I'm waiting for the puck to come out the other side it looked like it was going right very across the face of the goal but actually it could be the set but a nuisance of himself in front of Mika Vigman then and still Coventry retain possession in this zone Ballaran backhand great goal Great goal made by Mark Andre Valorand. Okay, Commentary looking to make something of this and they score. Just a few seconds into that power play, Commentary pull level.
Pompey now backhands that, doesn't quite get where he needs it to go. The shot comes in. Bigman was there with the left hand pad. Balleran now. Great pass back. And, and that's another goal. That's the third goal. Balleran to Kashane. And then the final shot comes in. Carlson once again. King. Melee. Couldn't quite get the shot off. Let's have his Maurice. That's the goal! Kevin King! Carl Hudson feeds it from the right hand side. And Lightning reply is 3 3 within just a minute or so of that go ahead goal from Blaze. Move his puck around quickly. Kashane finds space. Analog there in space. Couldn't quite get anything done there. Analog will wait for that puck again. Taps his stick expectantly on the ice. Kashane once again. Another shot comes in on Vickman. Gets the tip. Behind Vickman. And Blaze go 4 3 up. So here go Lightning once again, Kevin King. And he scores straight away! What a game this is! Kevin King picks it up. What time? Goal! They move at pace and once again they break. And that'll be Paul Phillips up the right hand side. He's got Denny Keeney for support. Paul Phillips scores and wins the goal! Wins the game for Milton Keynes Lightning. Coast to coast! One minute, 27 remaining in overtime. Paul Phillips picks up the puck in his own zone. Now Mokshansev, nice play by him in turn of speed. He's got Phillips with him. 
Nice play by him. Dance Bang, one on one. Dance Bang shoots and scores. And the first goal of the game for the Nottingham Panthers by Dance Bang. Great play there by Mock Shantsev. Draws everyone one way. Nice drop pass. And Spang in one on one and goes high glove. Oh, and now Breeze Bar's down there and they come the other way. It's Schofield again. He's with Patoni. He shoots and a goal for Ryan Patoni. And just like that, the clan are tied at one apiece. Breezewell gets his pocket pick through the middle. Play by him to Phillips. Phillips shoots just wide. Goalie was screened. Nice play by him. Now Phillips has it again. He goes D to D. Oh, just off Spang stick. Spang is going to shoot this one on the net. Good save. Rebounds there in front. Mokshansev. And that's two points for Dan Spang. He'll pick up the assist on that one with Zach Phillips. And a nice save by nine. It falls at Mokshansev's feet. And he puts that one in the empty net. Not zone win by the clan. And now Bert will pick up some speed behind the net. Down to the final six minutes of this second period. Here we come the other way though. Jeff Brown, he's got Rob Farmer with him. Looks around. Farmer shoots and scores. Great play by Jeff Brown there. Throws an area past the Farms. And Rob Farmer fires low blocker for a 3-1 lead for the Panthers. Now Sobe is going to bring this out. He has delay going support and Evan Mosey's joining. Sobe to the net back door. Great save and a goal from Mark Delego. What a goal from him picking up his own rebound. And the one guy that everybody wanted to score tonight was Mark Delego stepping off the plane and onto the ice. Yeah, great play. Sobe fed him and uh, he did really well. With nice play by Mosey to keep that alive. Pellini behind the net. This line's flying now, Mosey behind. In front, Pellini walks to the net. Oh, nice play by him. Falls to Mosey, shoots and scores. Evan Mosey scores, 5-1 Panthers. Mosey walks from that. Pellini with a nice move in front. Brian Knight breaks it up. Springer trying to make life awkward for the Steelers over there, but Nelson is bugging away from the boards. The Steelers will look to set this one up. Valdix brings it forward. Doesn't find a shooting lane. Finds a lovely pass, but it's fed wide on the backhand. What an opportunity that was for the Steelers. It might be the clearest that they've worked on the power play so far tonight. Yeah, it's unfortunate. If Matheson actually just directs that in the net, he had an open net. We actually controlled it and brought it back. Well, there's an opportunity here. The Steelers move in with Nelson. He takes the shot on and he finds the corner. That's a fantastic shot. There. You can just see the patience waiting and waiting. Just, just makes Clemente lock himself in there, not knowing whether he's going to take the shot or make the pass across. And just leaves that stick side just a little bit open. And, and, and uh, Levi Nelson just pops it inside the post, just on, over the blocker. And, uh... Still going O'Connor. He's just left the puck behind. He needs to retreat into his defensive position as the storm break forward. Long trying to kick it onto his skates. Kieran Long's got onto it. He's found a wonderful finish. Yeah, a bit unfortunate there by, uh, by Wallace. He's chips and, and stumbles, but a nice little play by Manchester up the board. A nice little touch pass into the middle of the ice. A great pickup there by, by Long. And uh, just unfortunate right here, you can see the Sheffield guy go down. But he gets up, and Kieran Long makes, the, he makes a nice little move here. A nice little fake to the backhand. Just freezes Mustakovs and drops him, and then he puts it up over the glove. That's a nice, nice finish. And now Wallace looks forward. Not a lot of support near him. Fitzgerald is well advanced. Yamtin, that's out to Devoe, sent goalwards, and it's found its way through! Yeah, I'm not sure if that hit something in front of the net, I think it may have bounced off the hip, because it looked as though it was going to go cross crease, so he's not quite sure, we'll get a great angle here, and, and again, Devoe gets the puck to the net, he's not trying to score, he's just trying to put it to the net, you can see there, and exactly, there it goes, yeah, Yamtin gets a nice, uh, a nice deflection there, so... Devoe's trying to be the screen, it comes near side, Yamtin hammers it, oh, and it took a little deflection, off the stick of Springer before it got through. And then we've got a player down and we've got a little bit of pushing and shoving. And it's allowed to go on. My goodness, the Steelers are going to score, are they? They must do. They have! Simple tapping in the end. But everybody came to a stop waiting for a whistle. It never came. It never came. An absolute 
total mess up in, in, in Manchester's end. And unfortunately, the two guys that were actually left playing the game are just outnumbered by Sheffield, passing it nice and easy across the crease. Uh, it, it all happens in front of the Manchester bench. Wojtek Klaus will come straight down the slot in his own zone. Paquette tries to muscle it through the blue line. He has done. Danik Paquette. Big chance for the blaze. It's converted by Lake. Wonderful play from Paquette. Got on the goal column last night. Gets on the assist column. Nothing else could do. And a tap in for Ben Lake. As soon as the puck came off the stick of uh, Kevin Noble, the Flyers will take that one away from Wojtek Klaus and they'll come north. The Flyers with a chance. Shot. Oh! to the top of the net yeah just to break down the right hand wing we see Robinson there playing in as the stand defenseman he's he's coming in to try and block that shot Nastic's probably got a bit of a sight to that Robinson's kind of made himself quite thin to, to try and attempt that it's just a great shot Ballarand will try and slam this forward he does ahead of Dingle couldn't poke it by Isles who came out aggressively puck comes into the side of the net jammed in the side of the net here it's after Isles came out and Dingle ended up finding it and scoring. Flyers meanwhile on their man advantage 30 seconds having gone a five on four three quarters of it left Jorgensen wrist shot through traffic to the back door and an open net and it's just guided comfortably in look here at the shape of the blaze penalty kill unit there is, there's absolutely no shape there at all no protection in front of Kevin Nastrick and the Flyers have really just passed it through the penalty kill that one comes, oh, to Brett Robinson, fortuitously, Robinson, across Lee, a laser, his second of the night, wonderful finish from the blaze number nine, look at this, Robinson jumps onto the puck, and this time the pass is executed absolutely perfectly to the right man who's got the space in front of net, Ben Lake, absolute rocket, sends that one around the boards, a high rim out by the netminder, just come free for Bloodoff. Sends it to the slot! Oh, that's a great goal! Shaver ties it at three. And the five flyers are level once again, and the Blaze just can't get away from him here. Playing it around the zone for the top Youngs. Oh, it comes off the pad of Noble. Just have to get back in position. A man upended in front. Young across to Helis. Looks into the back door, they score! Whether it was Helis or a tip from Blood Off, I don't know, we'll have a look again. All that matters is the Flyers have got the lead in this game now. Again, nice movement of the puck from the Flyers on the power play, just creating the angles and the opportunity. And all it was there, just a little lofted pass there from Helis. I think, was there a tip there in front? Yeah, the man big, in front? Tip. big tip. Tip by Blood Off. Shot comes in just wide. Another shot from the blue line, that one from Nate Fleming. And once again, we're battling down in the corner. Shot comes in from the blue line once again for Manchester Storm. Turn around, there's the first goal of the game. Two minutes and 18 seconds on the clock, and the Storm take the lead nice and early in this one. It's Manchester Storm 1, Milton Keynes Lightning 0. Storm do a very good job there clearing their zone, actually goes through the legs. Of the MK player waiting for it there on the uh, on the blue line it was Paul Phillips actually well, who uh, covered by Paul Phillips. Let that one squeeze through, but he uh, showed his skill, showed his experience, and turned that one back into Milton Keynes' advantage. Shot comes out, and there is the tie-up goal. It came out from behind Mike Clemente's net. Mike Clemente lost sight of that one as it came out in front of his paints. Can MK make this count? They've only got six seconds on the clock before Swindlehurst joins his ranks back in defence once again. Holding the stick, the call on the Storm number 27. Milton Keynes looking to get it away, they get it back. Back to the blue line, looking to find that pass, cross ice. And they have Paul Phillips losing that one centre ice. Storm really having to battle to get any kind of puck possession. Here comes Doucette. He's forced out wide. MK 
Okay, uh, Storm getting caught chasing a little bit. Milton Keys are doing really well on their entry. They're getting nice controlled entries down the sides of the boards. There's not much pressure from the Storm. I'd like to see him try and stand up on the blue line a bit more, I think. Phillips on the blue line, he's waiting. Yes, here comes the shot from Paul Phillips and it goes five hole, I think. Get that one up and now the Storm with a little bit of speed. Dump and chase by Matt Stanish. He's after that one himself in behind the net. Follows through with a check as well behind the goal. Once again, another great save there by Vickman off the Baker uh, backhand. What a shot, what a goal. Storm still have it, just about. Very scrappy. Becker fighting for it. He's looking to uh, get that one to pit behind the net. I mentioned it in the pre-game. This, this game's here for the taking for the Storm and for the MK. Lovely touch by Scott Pitt, trying to free up Matt Becker. He had pressure all the way in, though. No space at all for the Storm number 26. But he was in the right place at the right time to provide the screen. He quickly moved out of the way. Oh, I, and I, I, assist by Barmer, according to the announcements here. I think we begged to differ with that one. Yeah, unless, unless Becker did get a little touch. No, I don't think he did, to be honest. It looked like it just struck high straight in. Vero Paul now on the break for Milton Keynes, and there's the equaliser. Halfway through overtime. No real chances for either team as of yet. Milton Keynes looking to make their way up the ice. Just went behind Carl Hudson as he looked to get it. Springer doing good defensive work back there for Manchester. And there absolute is... Absolute laser beam. The overtime winner. An absolute laser beam into the top corner of Mike Clemente's net. Big chips up for it. T.J. Wade, one tamer comes in. Oh, the there! Gilbert Flames take the lead. Just as that 5 on 3 was ending, Shadow just about to come out. The score field, that's a great pass. Here comes no time, have the momentum on this side at the moment. York on the inside, two Jordan boys up. Four boys on the top. Looks to feed in Dotty. Dotty, find it! Can do with this is Petoni, but has it now. Moves it to his right to Oslanski, a bit too powerful for him. He retrieves it, Petoni now 220 to go. A minute gone of the power play already. Oh, oh, Crowder to Ulmer, and that's a good save, back and score! Rebound goal for Lane, Ulmer on the power play. We uh, talked a bit about Reddick's uh, improvement over the last few weeks, John. He's um, now on paid with Tyson Strang, there's a chance out in front, and it's Farina! Puts it top shelf! And the Devils double their lead. He wins that battle crowd, he just rides a few hits and now out in front, and that's a great save. Lovely work by Pope. And now the Capitals have a break here. Seven and all alone, he scores! The Capitals cut the lead in half, it's two to one.
Asselin throws that in front and it's deflected in. Farina out in front from a lovely Asselin feed and the Devils restore their two goal advantage. It's three to one. Paris with a long stretch pass to Asselin. Asselin has Farina for support. Tries to find Farina and he does. It's there. Devils open up a three goal advantage now. It's four to one. Now here is Paris. Hotham. Now he is Paris. Load anyone up. And it's right out in front and Morissette scores. Another power play goal for the Cardiff Devils. And they are rocking and rolling now here at Ice Arena Wales. Crowder out in front, Morissette off the bar! It should have been six for the Devils, it should have been Morissette second. Martin, back door, there it is! Joey Martin gets the final touch I believe, and the Devils finally get their sixth goal. What a ripper of a shot from Josh Batch! He goes high glove side from the left wing. And we've seen a lot of good tonight, but that's probably the pick of the bunch of the goals. That's the seventh for the Devils. Island in. One timer and what a blast that is! Second of the night. But David on his polite applause in Ice Arena Wales and you have to applaud such a powerful one-timer like that. And it's 7 to 2 here in Cardiff. Misses the target. Probably the best chance of the game so far. Here goes Sylvester though. Takes this in behind Fullerton, pops out the other side. And deflection takes that away, back up the ice, Anderson in a race with Ferland, Anderson gets there first, moves in close, jumps it home! Johan Anderson opens the scoring for the Rundy Stars with 15.05 left in the second period. A quick move from one end to the other, Anderson scampers in to beat the ice and call. And it's 1-0 to Dundee. Yeah, with a big chance and a big save just seconds before this. The Stars get another uh, opportunity and Johan Andersen puts in goal number three of the season for him. And takes it across the left, into the centre and didn't quite hold it up on Shields. Tie up in the corner, Fox and uh, Felland. And it's Lebeck away with this one, feeds this off for Brian Hart. Hart takes it down, it's up for a circle, shoots one and scores! Lebeck out of defence. Feeds it to Brian Hart, and Brian Hart smashes it past the goalie. 13-28 to go in this game. It's Dundee Stars 2, Belfast Giants 0. Well, he does smash it indeed. We'll see here on the replay to score goal number four of the season for Brian Hart. And you can see that massive, massive huge pass that he got there. He takes it into the danger zone and smashed into the back of the net.